Hey everyone, it's Sue from Moat, and in this episode of Moat for Students, we're gonna explore Moat in Google Slides. This is gonna be a little bit different than our previous video, which covered commenting in the Google applications. Moat for Slides can actually be a lot of fun. So if your teacher has created a Moat audio note within Google Slides, or is asking you to create an audio note with Moat in Google Slides, we'll explore what this is gonna look like and how it can be done. Your teacher might be using Moat to provide instruction or guidance or a project description for you. And you might see a purple speaker icon that will have their voice embedded into a slide deck here. The best part about this is that you do not need the extension installed in order to be able to hear the audio that's embedded into the slides. You do need it installed in order to create that audio though. But putting creation in your hands is what we're gonna cover on slide two. So we wanna record a Moat audio note on slide two. In order to do that, you're gonna come up to the purple Moat button and you're gonna click it. The first time that you click this button, you may be asked to accept permissions. After you hit that purple button, you'll see this box pop up. And if this happens to be in your way, which it is for me, you can move it on over. Then you're gonna hit the Moat button inside the box and record your Moat. Drones and education, an overview. When you're done, you hit the purple icon again. You can choose to play this back, you can throw it out, or you can hit that insert button. And with the wave of a magic wand, abracadabra, your purple speaker icon will appear right on your slide. Now this purple speaker icon can be moved around, it can be resized. In order to hear it, you can hover over it and listen back to what you just recorded. Drones in education. It when you click on it, you may see a format options window appear. If you don't see that, that's okay. Click up here, come up to your toolbar and click on format options. Here you can choose to have this play automatically on the slide change, modify your volume, loop your audio if maybe you wanna make some kind of musical beat, uh, have this continue on slide changes, recolor it, make changes to the brightness and contrast, et cetera. But you can also come up to your toolbar and instead hit replace image. And here you can upload either a JPEG, PNG, or even a GIF or GIF file and replace that purple speaker icon with any of those options. You can search the web, pull in a photo from your drive, Google Photos, or by URL. And you can even take a selfie with the camera. I'm gonna go ahead and upload from my computer a drone image. And I'm gonna replace my purple speaker icon now with an image of a drone. I've kind of turned this into a clickable button for my audio file. And when you think about the limitless possibilities of embedding audio into different types of images throughout slides, you can really have a lot of fun and get creative. And I urge you to try it out. Our next lesson in our Moat student video series is going to be about Moat in Google Forms.